Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus with your afternoon update. We have a lot of big changes, not only what's going on with Hurricane Lee, what the possibility still is from Invest 98L, plus our storm in October is showing up still that it's still coming, guys. Not as strong as a long time ago, but still showing it's coming and is expected by Global Tropics. Look at the latest updates that show that it will eventually get down to a Cat 1 hurricane instead of a tropical storm. It will stay as a Cat 1 hurricane as it passes over New England. So far, having it down to 75 miles per hour sustained winds with 92 miles per hour wind gusts as it does pass by. Now, you can see some of the ensembles have changed some of the guidance. You got a couple of them that's showing it will go to the west. A lot of them still showing it will go to the east. But there's a new wobble, especially shown by one of the hurricane models. Also with Euro that it could wobble. Because this, this snake wobble is all about timing. And this second ridge is pulling it right to the west. Right when it's passing by Euro sweet spot. And could bring it right on in on that western wobble. That's what the Euro is showing. I'll show you all the latest updates. You've never been here before. Make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. Been here for years. So hit that subscribe, hit that bell, make sure you get notified. And we're going to talk about the possible timing of when this October storm is coming our way. And it's expected to go towards the Western Caribbean, towards the Gulf, towards the Eastern Pacific area, right where we've been talking about. But you can see all the latest updates on Hurricane Analysis Forecast System. This is A. And you see how it takes it mostly to the east. It starts doing that wobbling to the east. It tries to go westward, but this is where it gets killed with all that dry air, all that shear, all the cool temperatures on the sea surface, and just goes to the west and just dies out very weak. But they do have it as a hurricane in that area. You can also see in the sea surface temperatures that it does eat up very well. But once it goes over those cooler waters, it really downgrades very fast. And then right where it's making its turn is right where the coolest waters are, guys. You also can see that it does get some dry air up in there as it makes that turn towards New England. So we've got a lot of precipitation, but you see how it's all on the western side. The whole eastern side has dry air all the way into the core. So it does try and attack it at the last few dives towards landfall but you might actually have a landfall in maine from this and it has been a long time since we had one of those but at the same time right when it goes up that east coast and that trough comes in bringing it all that shear look at all this shear right on it so the shear the cooler waters the dry air getting into it really has a real tough time forming anything now you can see on a satellite view how it really gets torn apart with all the factors going into it. Once it goes up to the east, then that jet stream, that trough brings it and shreds a lot of the moisture off of it. And as it goes further to the north, that next one comes on in and it just obliterates it with the wind shear and the dry air. You see how the east side of it don't have any precipitation. It's all west side loaded with all the precipitation. It just gets torn apart. You can also see this on a hurricane forecast analysis system B. And this one is doing what the Euro is seeing, that it does do a quick eastern, then a western turn. Wobbles right into Boston, right towards Massachusetts, right in that little nook. So this is exactly what Euro is showing as well. So when you look at how close the hurricane forecast system A comes in, you see as you go into Saturday morning, you start bringing in a lot of sustained winds. 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts, that's what all that brown signifies as it comes in even closer. But it brings everybody really, a lot is in that cove. That cove is going to get a lot of these impacts. You can see it down here that you have 40 in the red, 50 in the brown, 60 when you start getting towards that white. But you see how it starts making really 50s all i'm seeing is 50s coming in on it but it is bringing a lot of wind gusts with this system the wind gusts looks like it's going to be the most worst part ex except for the flooding it's going to start bringing those 50s 60s 70s even maybe get into some 80s in some parts over here for massachusetts but the rest of the cove is definitely going to be in 50s and 60s and 70s all the way to saturday afternoon before it miles down by 10 and 11 o'clock at night. So it is going to be a long impact according to this system. Because you can see how it just wax on the west side of this system. Because all that dry air on the east side. And just brings all that rainfall to all of y'all over there. But you can see from here from your vorticity exactly what's going on in this system. So you have your first trough coming down. Pulling Lee straight towards the trough. Pulling it straight north. And then the trough moves on and just leaves Lee kind of lingering. But then we got our second trough comes in. And right when the second trough comes in, 
That's when it pulls it to that west and it gets that western wobble. It's exactly why you have it. Exactly when that, that trough is coming down, pulling that to the west, that's the timing you got to look for. So far, it's still three days away, so we still pinpoint it. But so far, it's showing it's going right inland, just like Hurricane Forecast System B. Bringing a lot of high winds with that as well, guys. And still showing that second one is either going to keep coming to the left. This high pressure is going to continue to keep it blocked. Keep going to the west, or it is eventually going to loop around. Remember, that has been the trend, that eventually it is going to loop around. But that's what the euro sees it sees that dip also it takes that western wobble right towards massachusetts right towards boston right towards maine as well and starts curving a little bit to the east it's still showing that wobble still showing just like the hurricane system saturday morning going all the way to saturday afternoon and leaving out saturday night sunday morning but almost the exact same thing that you saw in the hurricane forecast system you got the 50s the 60s you do get the 70s and 80s right here, but this could stretch up because hurricane forecast system saw 60s coming along shore here as well, especially for eastern Massachusetts and Rhode Island. All y'all getting covered up in the high 50s to 60s for sure. GFS still takes it a little bit further to the east and takes a lot less of those impacts coming on the U.S., more like hitting towards Nova Scotia and not the U.S. And that brings impacts a lot further east where it'd be mostly Maine getting the impacts and Nova Scotia. But you can see that wobble right here with the euro. But you can see how it spreads out. As soon as it goes to the west and makes that wobble, it really gets wide on which way that wobble is going to be sooner or later. It still does not know. And that second one you see coming high just goes right into the Atlantic after you go all the way to 10 days. Now you can see with this model a little further than 10 days. And you can see as the euro brings into Atlantic, you see that 10 days, it also wishes all that around into the Atlantic. So I definitely think it will be a little wide swing of the Invest 98L. Forecast model of the euro of where Lee is going. Look at all these possibilities still showing it could curve right into to the west. Look at all these possibilities showing it can still go closer inland, more impacts going inland. Matter of fact, you can see here with the Euro SpaghettiOs, how it's all wide until it gets at 96 hours away, and then it starts making that western wobble. Plus, on that next one, not Invest 98L, it will be a wide turn, but there's some wide turns like this one down here that you might need to watch out for. It could swing it real close towards land. Still showing that's a possibility again, guys. But so far, still showing the impacts is pretty widespread. Definitely with the Euro going in all the way from the Northeast, also ports of Nova Scotia, mostly the Western half by Halifax, Liverpool, 50, maybe some 60 miles per hour wind gusts. GFS does take it closer towards y'all, further to the East, where you could be some 60s, maybe even some 70s coming in there. So just a little bit more fine tuning we need still love it, guys. You still got 72 hours, but it's definitely, I would definitely pay attention to the Euro going on that western track and just prepare for that area the best way you can. It's still showing Saturday is going to be a big day for some waves and some onshore flooding. And this is according to the Euro. So as it comes right on in and you're not at a big outward concave, you're going inside as a cove. So all this onshore flooding will just be captured like a little teacup right here. And some big time flooding is going to come out of this storm, especially if it goes west than east it could be a little moment of a stall while that transition happens and that could bring even more but still showing 20 30 foot waves whether i use euro or gfs you have 20 30 foot waves still coming with this storm it's still got 40 way out here we still got 20 30 foot waves still coming with this storm definitely high teens right along the coast plus when you take a look at the latest potential velocity anomaly you can see on our short range that actually at the end of september going towards the beginning of october that we do still have that anomaly coming in for the western caribbean our gulf of mexico into our eastern pacific in this region favorable environment guys that will be coming along that we need to take a look at Matter of fact, you can see the update on Global Tropics, how from September 20th to September 26th, they're expecting what's coming out, Invest 97L, 98L, that's in the MDR. But if you look over here for late September into early October, what I just showed you on the anomaly, then not only are they expecting something else to form in MDR, maybe go a little bit further this time, that's Invest 98L, guys, because it might stretch that far. But look what could grow right here in the Western Caribbean, uh, Western Caribbean in the Gulf of Mexico or the Eastern Pacific. 
Definitely a end of September and October storm. They're expecting a cyclone to form. So we need to keep our eyes open. We have favorable environment. They're already seeing something, possibilities, probably coming from the gyre because it produces all these low pressure systems. I will keep my eyes open for you. The information is still a little mixed. You can see the long range with the Euro did saying it really will be an October storm that comes through right at October. It's not showing any chance of late September at all. Maybe the middle of September still have those weak opportunities, but it'd be either the middle of September where it's showing right around the 20s, early 20s, or it's going to be the beginning of October. Well, thank you so much for your time, everybody. God bless you and your family. So as the latest updates on what's going on, especially with Lee, I will update you in the morning about that western wobble, whether it starts maybe going further to the east, or maybe it gets a little bit closer because I see people putting out like major turn. We're not seeing any major turns. It's just that same wobble. We just got to time it out just right. Now, we'll perfect that for you all as close as I can. Plus, let me know what y'all think about this. Showing September, but I think it's really going to be an October storm of this next system we're going to be dealing with. You see the, where the favorable environment is. You see how it's expected from global tropics around that time. We need to start looking in that region. It's a little further to the west than we want it to be, to be honest with you. Now today, I want to read to you Psalm 147. Such a beautiful psalm. Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God. For it is pleasant, and praise is comely. The Lord doeth build up Jerusalem. He gathereth together the outcasts of Israel. He healeth the broken in heart, and bindeth up their wounds. He telleth the number of the stars. He calleth them all by their names. Great is our Lord, and of great power. His understanding is infinite. The Lord lifteth up the meek. He casteth the wicked down to the ground. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp unto our God, who covereth the heaven with clouds, who prepareth rain for the earth, who maketh grass to grow upon the mountains. He giveth to the beast his food, and to the young ravens which cry. He delighteth not in the strength of the horse. He taketh not pleasure in the legs of a man. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him, and those that hope in his mercy. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise thy God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of thy gates. He has blessed thy children within thee. He maketh peace in thy borders, and filleth thee with the finest of the wheat. He sendeth forth his commandment upon earth. His word runneth very swiftly. He giveth snow like wool, he scattereth the hoar frost like ashes. He casteth forth his ice like morsels, who can stand before his cold? He sendeth out his word, and melteth them, he causeth his wind to blow, and the waters flow. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Have a great night, everybody. I will update you not only on what's going on with these waves, what's going on with our severe weather that could be coming up very shortly with these cold fronts, but what is also coming up with this October storm, because I'm still showing that is going to be a pretty powerful event. So I will keep you updated. Thank you again for tuning in this evening, everybody. And remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I pray he always blesses you and keeps you safe every day of your life, you and your families, forever. <laughs> Amen! <laughs> Hallelujah! Amen. Have a great night, everybody.